Hi, this is Crimea River, and I'm your host, Shana. Hello. Today, we're going to talk about Cherish Periwinkle. Cherish was an American eight year old girl from Jacksonville, Florida. Cherish was abducted from Walmart on June 21st, 2013, by a man named Donald James Smith. Cherish Lily Periwinkle was born on December 24, 2004 in Jacksonville, Florida to parents Rain Periwinkle and Billy Giroux. They ended up divorcing not long after. On June 21, 2013, around 7.30 p.m., Rain, Cherish, and her two younger sisters walked to the Dollar General store on Edgewood Ave, about a 20-minute walk. Rain wanted to buy Cherish some clothes because Cherish was going to her father's house in California the next morning. Rain's boyfriend gave her $100 for household items, clothes, and a taxi fare the next day. As you could tell, Rain didn't have a car. While shopping at Dollar General, Rain took a dress to the counter to ask how much it was. And that's when a man had taken notice of Rain and her girls. The man asked the cashier if Rain couldn't afford it. The man then waited for Rain and the girls, and he probably waited a while. As Rain and her daughters were leaving, the man approached them, saying he would buy Cherish the dress Rain couldn't afford. The man said his name was Don, and that he was waiting for his wife to meet him at the store. They waited for 15 to 20 minutes. It started to rain, and Don told the girls that his wife had a $150 Walmart gift card and that she would meet them there and buy the kids clothes. Don portrayed himself as a Christian grandfather type to convince Rain and her girls to get in a van and take a 10 minute drive to Walmart. After arriving at Walmart, they waited in the parking lot for around 15 to 20 minutes hoping that Don's wife would show up with the $150 gift card. Don noted that they were getting bored, so he told them he'd meet them in the little girl's section when his wife showed up. Don eventually met them inside, no wife. He didn't do any shopping, but he put rope in the cart. Don also took Cherish to the dressing room, not once, but twice, and also helped Cherish pick out high heels made for women. After shopping for about two hours, Walmart announced they would be closing soon. Don offered to buy everyone cheeseburgers from the McDonald's inside the Walmart. Cherish walked with Don to get the cheeseburgers, and it's close to 11 p.m., and none of them have eaten. Cherish and Don walked up to the McDonald's inside Walmart. Don asked if they were closed, and the McDonald's employee said no, but Don and Cherish walked out the front door of Walmart anyway. Cherish followed Don to his white van. They got inside, and they started to leave. Don pulled up to a car with a family in it on the other part of Walmart. After saying that they were going to get cheeseburgers, after about 20 minutes of Don and Cherish being gone, Rain got worried. And around 11.20, she called 911. Jackson, I want Robinson. Hi, that Walmart. I'm in terms of being taken. What do you mean? Taken by a stranger. I can't find her because the store is closed right now. Okay, is he a white man or a black man? A white man. He's got white short hair and he's got dark eyebrows. You say dark, dark short hair? No, he's got white hair and dark eyebrows. I had a strange feeling about him when I first met him. He took her to the, he took her to the, to, to the dressing room twice. And I was hoping that she would be okay. And I was looking at the shoes. And I didn't want him to think that I was overly protective, freaking out. But now they're not here. And I find it very odd because he knew that... Oh, okay, ma'am. What kind of vehicle does he drive? It's a white van. That, do you remember any stickers or anything on the side of the van? Anything that you can remember at all? Did it have tinted windows or anything? I didn't take a good look at the van. Okay, do you remember what, did you see any tag on it or anything? Was no. it a Florida tag? No, I didn't look at that. I feel like a fool. 
Okay, do you remember what he had on? No, I don't remember anything because I'm panicking right now. Okay. And he told you that y'all were going to meet his wife at um, the Walmart? Yes. First she was supposed to show up at Dollar General, and then he was going to meet with her at, at Walmart. And we've been here probably two hours, and she didn't show up. And I ha have this cart full of clothes that he said he was going to pay for with a $100 gift card, and I, I had a bad feeling. I thought, well, I feel like pinching myself because this is too good to be true. So I got to the checkout. He's not here. He isn't here. And I'm hoping he's not raping her right now because I've had that done to me. It's not, it's not fun. She's supposed to go to California in the morning. I had a bad feeling about him. Okay, how long have you been looking for him? When was the last time you saw him? How long ago? About half an hour ago. And he knew the store was closing. He said he was going to McDonald's. She went with him. I should have told her to stay with me. Yes, there's a McDonald's inside the store. He wasn't here. She must know that I'm panicking by an owl. You think she's been taken? You say you yes. have other kids with you? Yes, I do. He was he was uh he was giving too much attention. He wanted her to buy these really tall shoes that were women's shoes, and I told him no. I said, they're too high for her. I wouldn't even wear shoes that high. Maybe he was grooming her. I hope to God he doesn't kill her, and I hope to God he doesn't rape her. Okay, and when did you meet him today? I met him at Dollar General on Edgewood. I was struggling with my money to buy the girls some clothes, and he saw that I, what I was doing, and he waited for us outside the store. He was going to give us a ride over here to Walmart. And then we waited in the parking lot for maybe 20 minutes for her to show up. She didn't show up. So we all went into the store. We've been here about two hours, and she didn't show up. And I don't understand why he would leave right now, unless he's got a rape or a killer. That's the only reason. And I'm wasting my time standing here. You're not wasting your time, ma'am. We have officers on their way to you. Don is Donald James Smith, 56, sex offender who was just released out of prison 21 days before he went to Dollar General asking about adult magazines. Smith wasn't married and had a history of crimes against children. Smith was convicted in 77 of lewd and vicious acts on a child under 16. In 93, he was sentenced to five years in prison for attempting to kidnap a minor. And three weeks prior to meeting Cherish, he did 14 months for impersonating a public employee trying to snatch a nine-year-old girl from her grandmother over the phone. The media wasn't notified about Cherish until 5 a.m. and an Amber Alert wasn't issued until 5.30 a.m. At 9 a.m. at a road accident, a police officer recognized Smith's van as it drove by. Smith was arrested 10 hours after the abduction. The police officer checked the van, no Cherish and no stroller. It was empty. Smith was all wet up to his waist. Cherish's body was found in a creek behind Highlands Baptist Church. Cherish suffered trauma to her face, head, and her genital area and showed signs of strangulation. Her cause of death was mechanical asphyxiation or strangulation. Smith was sentenced to death on February 14th, 2018. It took the jury less than 15 minutes to find him guilty.